Thanksgiving in the United States of America. Thanksgiving is a federal holiday in the United States of America, celebrated on the fourth Thursday of November. It originated as a harvest festival. Thanksgiving has been celebrated nationally on and off since 1789 with a proclamation by George Washington, our first president, after a request by Congress. Thomas Jefferson chose not to observe the holiday, and its celebration was intermediate until the presidency of Abraham Lincoln, when Thanksgiving became a federal holiday in 1863 during the American Civil War. Lincoln proclaimed a national day of thanksgiving and praise to our beneficent Father who dwelleth in the heavens to be celebrated on the last Thursday in November. Under President Franklin D. Roosevelt, the date was changed between 1939 and in 1941, amid significant controversy. From 1942 onwards, Thanksgiving has been proclaimed by Congress as being the fourth Thursday in November. Thanksgiving is regarded as being the beginning of the fall winter holiday season, along with Christmas and the New Year in American culture. The event that Americans commonly call the first Thanksgiving was celebrated by the pilgrims after their first harvest in New World in October 1621. This feast lasted three days and, as accounted by attendee Edward Winslow, it was attended by 90 Native Americans and 53 pilgrims. The New England colonists were accustomed to regularly celebrating thanksgivings, days of prayer thanking God for blessings such as military victory or the end of a drought. The most prominent historic Thanksgiving event in America popular culture is the 1621 celebration at the Plymouth Plantation where the settlers held a harvest feast after a successful growing season. Autumn or early winter feast continued sporadically in later years, first as an impromptu religious observance and later as a civil tradition. The Plymouth settlers, known as pilgrims, had settled in land abandoned when all but one of the Patasquitz Indians died in a plague. After a harsh winter killed off of the Plymouth settlers, half of the Plymouth settlers, the last surviving Patasquitz, Squanto, who had learned English and avoided the plague as a slave in Europe, came in at a request of Samoset, the first Native American to encounter the pilgrims. Squanto taught the pilgrims how to catch eel and grow corn and served as an entrepreneur for them until he too succumbed to a plague a, la a year later. The Wampanoag leader also gave food to the colonists during the first winter when supplies brought from England were insufficient. The pilgrims celebrated at Plymouth for three days after their harvest in 1621. The exact time is unknown, but James Baker, the Plymouth Plantation Vice President of Research, stated in 1996, the event occurred between September 21 and November 11. 1621, with the most likely time being around Michaelmas, the traditional time. 
17th century accounts do not identify this as a Thanksgiving observance. Rather, it followed the harvest. It included 50 people who were in the Mayflower, all who remained of the hundred who had landed, and 90 Native Americans. The feast was cooked by four adult pilgrim women who survived their first winter in the New World. Eleanor Billington, Elizabeth Hopkins, Mary Brewster, and Savannah White, along with young daughters and male and female servants. Two colonists gave personal accounts of the 1621 feast in Plymouth. The pilgrims, most of whom were separates, are not to be confused with Puritans who established their own Massachusetts Bay Colony on the Shamu Peninsula, current day Boston, in 1630. Both groups were strict Calvinists, but differed in their views regarding the Church of England. Puritans wished to remain in the Anglican Church and reform it while the pilgrims wanted complete separation from the church. The pilgrims held a true Thanksgiving celebration in 1623, following a fast and a refreshing 14-day rain, which resulted in a larger harvest. William de Los Love calculates that this Thanksgiving was made on Wednesday, July 30, 1623, a day before the arrival of a supply ship with more colonists. But before the fall harvest, in Love's opinion, this 1623 Thanksgiving was sufficient because the order to recognize the event was from civil authority. Governor Bradford and not from the church, making it likely the first civil recognition of Thanksgiving in New England. Referring to the 1623 harvest after the nearly, nearly catastrophic drought, Bradford wrote, and afterwards, the Lord sent them such seasonal showers with interchange of fair warm weather as though his blessing caused a fruitful and liberal harvest to their no small comfort and rejoicing for which mercy in time covenant they also set apart a day of thanksgiving. By this time harvest was come, and instead of famine, now God gave them plenty, for which they blessed God, and the effect of their particular planting as well seen, for all had pretty well, so as any general want or famine had not been amongst them since to this day. The first national proclamation of thanksgiving was given by the Continental Congress in 1777 from its temporary location in York, Pennsylvania. While the British occupied the national capital at Pennsylvania, Delegate Samuel Adams created the first draft. Congress then adopted the final version. Here it is. For as much as it is indispensable duty of all men to adore the superintending providence of Almighty God, to acknowledge with gratitude their obligation to Him for benefits received, and to implore such farther blessings as they stand in need of, and it having pleased Him in His abundant mercy 
not only to continue to use the Im immeasurable bounties of his common providence, but also to smile upon us in the persecution of a just and necessary war for the defense and establishment of our unalienable rights and liberties, particularly in that he have been pleased in so great a measure to prosper the means used for the support of our troops and to crown our arms with most signal success. It is therefore recommended to the legislative or executive powers of the United States to set apart Thursday, the 18th day of December next, for solemn thanksgiving and praise, that one time and with one voice the good people may express the grateful feelings of their hearts and consecrate themselves to the service of their di divine benefactor and that together with their sincere acknowledgments and offerings they may join the penitent confession of their manifold sins whereby they had forfeited every favor and their humble and earnest supplication that it may please God through the merits of Jesus Christ mercifully to forgive and blot them out of remembrance, that it may please him graciously to afford his blessing on the governments and these states respectively, and prosper the public counsel of the whole, to inspire our commanders both by land and sea, and all under them with that wisdom and fortitude which may render them fit instruments under the providence of Almighty God to secure for these United States the greatest of all human blessings, independence, and peace that it may please Him to prosper the trade and manufactures of the people and the laborer of the husbandman, that our Lord may yield its increase. To take schools and seminaries of education so necessary for cultivating the principles of true liberty, virtue, and piety under his nurturing hand and to prosper the means of religion for the promotion and enlargement of that kingdom which consisteth in righteousness, peace, and joy in the Holy Ghost. In the middle of the American Civil War, President Abraham Lincoln, prompted by a series of editorials, proclaimed a National Thanksgiving Day to be celebrated on the 26th, the final Thursday of November, 1863. On October 6, 1941, both houses of the U.S. Congress passed a joint resolution fixing the traditional last Thursday date for the holiday beginning in 1942. However, in December of that year, the Senate passed an amendment to the resolution that split the difference by requiring that Thanksgiving be observed annually on the fourth Thursday of November, which was usually the last Thursday and sometimes two years out of seven on average, the next to last. The amendment also passed the House and on December 26, 1941, President Roosevelt signed this bill for the first time making the date of Thanksgiving a matter of federal law 
and fixing the day as the fourth Thursday of November.